Hey guys, I Device Help here, and today I want to share with you guys some more glitches possible in iOS 11 Beta 3. Now, of course, if you follow me here on the channel, you know that I love to glitch the operating system, make it do things that it can normally not do. And in this video, I'm going to share with you guys some additional glitches possible in iOS 11. This is going to be Beta 3. If you want to watch the previous episode, it's going to be linked in the description down below. And thank you to everyone who submitted uh, glitches through my email or my social networks. I appreciate it. Links will be in the description for anyone who submitted bugs to the channel. So let's begin. For this first one, I'm going to show you how to get 3D touch menus behind the icon. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and bring down the notification center. And as you're doing that, while you hold it, press and 3D touch on any of the icons you see there that cool animation in the background the 3d touch and the menus still work by the way you can see there i can activate the menus just like that so just simply bring down the notification center hold it halfway through and just 3d touch on any of the icons and you can go ahead and create that really cool glitch which gives you the menus behind the icon next i'm going to show you how to hide applications that you can normally not hide now apple allows you to hide certain applications from the springboard but they don't allow you to hide settings messages safari photos and those apps are key for you guys and you guys have asked how to hide those now i showed you how to do a method on my previous video as i mentioned if you want to go ahead and watch that's going to be in the description but i'm going to show you a second method that was sent in and a link will be down below to the original video who found this for the person who found this we want to do is make sure you have four icons on the dock and you want to have the applications that you want to hide right here on the dock what you want to do is go ahead and remove them from the dock just like so and then create a folder with these four applications so just simply bring one on top of the other create a folder and once we create that folder now we can hide all four of those applications how do we do that we'll tap and hold go into edit mode bring it to the dock press on the home button once come back to this page and then go into edit mode again using the folder now double tap the home button go into the multitasker release boom now the applications are completely hidden from the view now they do show up on the spotlight suggestions but if you want to hide them uh, from the view so someone is trying to look to your phone trying to find them quickly because you left your phone unlocked they won't be able to find them as easily as they would if they were just sitting on the springboard of course as i mentioned if they go here and say type in phone they can find the phone application but it's not as easy as just tapping on the icon people don't really think you can hide these applications next i want to show you how to hide certain elements from the control center so any of these extensions down here you can either remove of course by going to settings or you can hide them to give them a really cool effect there with tiles uh, missing in between and how to hide the platters on the top as well so i'm gonna show you how to do that here so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and invoke the control center you want to go ahead and double press or press a 3d touch on either one of these uh two whichever one you press first is the one that's going to disappear first so i'm going to go ahead and 3d touch on the icons here and on the music player so one two three and one or the other will disappear if you do this right there we go so now the music icon or the music platter is completely gone disappeared so let me go ahead and try to hide some additional uh, things here some additional elements let me see if i can get this to go your timing has to be really really precise there you go so you can hide some more and you can continue doing that and continue hiding certain elements of this uh, control center let me see if i can get the second tile to disappear here by 3d touching on two elements there we go so pretty cool this is the way you can hide the platters if you don't like those on your control center of course you're gonna have to reboot your device in order to get all these effects or glitches to uh, just go back to normal another cool effect that you can create with the control center is 3d touch and immediately tap on the home button that boom see that momentarily you saw the menu there on the home screen I'm going to do that again just like that so you just simply tap on the home button once and then press on the 3d touch element here just like that i'm going to share with you one more let's say i go to the multitasker in 3d touch timing has to be perfect you see that the 3d touch menus on the multitasker you can't interact but you can see there that the multitasker had the settings element right there on the multitasker so same thing double press the home button and then 3d touch just like that pretty cool effect right you can just screenshot that and boom there you go so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any additional bugs and glitches that you would like to submit you can do so on facebook twitter or my email which is going to be on my twitter as well and i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's been a device help and i'll see you real soon peace